The list details is one of the most commonly used blocks in Softer. It goes hand in hand with the list block and allows the user to view more information in a list item. The details block can be added as a separate page in your Softer app to be opened when the user clicks on an item. Now, if you haven't checked out the list block video yet, I actually recommend starting there so you have a better understanding of the core concepts that we showcase in this video. I'll link it in the show notes below. Otherwise, let's quickly dive in. So looking at the project management template in Softer, you'll see here that this list block that we covered in the last video is connected to the project management Airtable base by Softer. Specifically, it's linking to the projects table within the base. As you recall, we linked the item fields to the list block to showcase key information about the project, including the name, the status, description, and price. But what if we want the user to be able to click into this list card to open another page and view additional information about the project? That's where the list details block comes in. To create this, first we need to create a new page and add something descriptive that lets us know it's a list details page. So I'm gonna call this project details. I'm gonna put a two at the end because I know there's already a project details created in this project. All right, great. So I have a new page here. Now I'm just going to add a block by hovering over here. There we go. Dynamic and scroll on to list details. Now you can see just like the list block, there's a few layouts to choose from. Let's just quickly check them out to see what design options you have available. So for this one, we have the list details page with a side image, if that's important to you. You can also do a list details page with an image slider if you want to showcase various images. We also have a list details page with video if you want to showcase a video. And lastly, we have the list details page with three column view. So for this one, I'm actually just going to use the list details with side image. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these other options. Great. Now, just like the list block, we need to connect our data source. So if I go here, I'm going to connect my Airtable. Then I'm gonna search for my project management Airtable base. And then as you recall, the table is the projects table. As you can see here, the dummy data is still display. We need to pop over to features and map the item fields. So first up for the image, I'm going to link the client's logo found here in the client logo field. So we'll just go here, search for client logo, perfect. I'm also gonna add the project name. Then I'm gonna add the client's name. Just go here, client name, perfect. Now, because this is gonna be showing more information about the project that doesn't already exist on the list block, I'm going to choose the rich text option and map the client brief field, which goes deeper into details about the project. Great. Now, as you remember with item fields, you can also hide the content that you don't need. So I'm gonna do that for the tag. I also don't need a button here. Additionally, you can add as many item fields as you need. Cool. So now we have a list details page that's showcasing more information from the same projects table that our list block page is linking to. Now let's link the two together. In order to link the list details page to the list block, you need to go back to your list page, which for us can be here. Then you're gonna pop over to features and you're gonna scroll down to item on click. Now it's important to note that the location of item on click is actually going to change in a couple of weeks with the addition of action buttons. You're gonna see an additional tab up here called actions and that's where item on click is going to live, but it's going to do essentially the same thing. So what you're telling software is when this item is clicked, where do you want it to go? What do you want it to do? So the action right now is set to do nothing. So if the user clicks on this card, it's not gonna take them anywhere. What we want to do is open a page and the page we want to open is the list details block that we just created, which I named project details two, as you remember. Okay, let's publish it and take a look. So now as a user, I can view the overview of projects. And then if I wanna see more information about say the build marketing site project, I would just click into it 
and there's the information. Now we have the list block displaying data from the projects tab. And when clicked, it's taken to the list details block showing more information from that same tab. Now there's several other options on item on click. You can additionally choose to open an external URL. You can also open a modal, which essentially just looks like a page that behaves like a pop-up. So if I go to open modal and then I choose the same, project details too. Let's publish that and I can show you guys what it looks like. So I wanna see more information about this project. Instead of opening a separate page, it just opens a modal, which is like a pop-up. Now, what if you wanted to be able to allow certain sets of users to edit the information on the list details page? This is a feature that's available to you that makes software unique. With the list details block, you can actually enable editing so if we go back to pages, project details two, click into the list details page, you'll see here there is an edit tab. If you toggle allow user to edit on, this is the first step. Then you're gonna to need to additionally add custom user groups and permissions. Now we're not gonna get into that in this video, but I have a video that goes deeper into editing and permissions that I'm gonna link in the show notes below this one. Lastly, I want to quickly show you guys how this template utilizes the list details page, because if I'm being honest, this is a pretty simple use case for using the list details block. So let's take a look at the original project details that the list block was linking to. So as you can see in a list details block, you can add as many additional blocks below it and you can map those additional blocks to strategic tables and bases within your database. I just want to show you this on a high level so you can understand that not only can you add a list details block, but you can get creative with it by adding additional blocks and setting what's called conditional filters to only show information about the specific project or list item that you've clicked into. Another thing that makes software great is that you can connect as many data sources and tables as you would like within your app and even within pages. So as you can see here, this is linking to the projects table. And then this additional block, which is actually a list block, is linking to the teams table, which you can find here. Next, we have a task table, which is again, a list block with horizontal cards, which shows all of the corresponding tasks for the list item. It's linking to the, you guessed it, task table in Airtable. Lastly here, we have a project discussion board, which is the comments block, and it's linking to the task comments table in Airtable. Oh, and also we have the ability to add a new task to the project with a form block, which again is mapped to the task table in Airtable. This is an advanced use case that goes deeper into what we call conditional filters, as well as editing and permissions and user groups. So really quickly, I'm just gonna show you the list details block in action and a couple of our additional software templates that are again, available for you for free in our template library. The employee directory template, as you can see here, this is obviously a list block. And then when you click into it, it's gonna show more details about that employee as the list details page. So as you can see, this is the three column style that we showcased earlier. Additionally, in our content calendar template, you can also view individual list and list detail items that contain information about upcoming content calendar campaigns. So for the sake of keeping this video simple, we're gonna stop here. So you have a basic understanding of how the list block and list details block work together, but just know you can go a lot deeper and we're gonna cover a lot of these use cases in future videos. So be sure to browse our Academy suite of videos so you can find the videos that you need to reach your goals for your software app. And there you have it, the list details block. Now, I can't wait to see what you guys create with your list and list details block please be sure to share with us on our community forum, which I will link in the show notes below. And if you wanna keep diving deeper into the capabilities of software, our Video Academy library is growing by the day. So be sure to come back and take a look at the new videos we have released.